everyone. This is Lori here with Lori Hooks. Welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me today. <clears throat> so I've had two coughing fits while trying to record this. So hopefully I can get through this time. And if I don't, hopefully if you see blink out, it's probably for another coughing fit. But we will do the best we can. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Today is just a quick video to talk about an item that I finished. And here she is. So let me show you the pattern and then I'll talk a little bit more about her. So I did show this pattern uh, last week. <clears throat> this pattern is by Creative Chaos of Margot and it is, it comes with the four dolls which are Bratty Bunny, Batty Bear, Emma Jean and Miss Scully. And there's the four patterns. The four dolls, sorry. <clears throat> so I liked the coloring of this doll and I liked her little hat. But I liked the dress on this doll. So these patterns were available separately. You could buy this one and then or buy this one. Or you could buy the combined two for a little bit less than the cost of the two separately. Um And everything, like the dimensions are the same, all that kind of stuff are the same that like the um, the legs on the two, for example, they're all the same. They're just, you know, um, maybe different rounds for the striping, that type of stuff. But, you know, the count and all that stuff's all the same. So those things were quite simple. It wasn't an, an issue to adapt it for those things. Um, the pattern called for Red Heart Super Saver and a 2mm hook. I don't know how anybody would use a 2mm hook with Red Heart Super Saver and that is not my yarn of preference. So the yarn that I used was Sheepy's Katona, <clears throat> which is my preference for something like this. The colors that I used are uh, 105 Bridal White, 110 which is Jet Black, <clears throat> this is 521 which is deep violet and 226 which is light orchid and cheapies katona is a mercerized cotton um i've forgotten what weight they rate it as i think it's around a two maybe maybe it's pretty thin and i used a 2.5 millimeter hook sorry 2.75 millimeter hook today <clears throat> so I really like how she came out um, I did make some changes to the pattern I um, I added a, an extra stitch to each round of the arms because I was finding it too fiddly with the lesser number that she had um, the way that I added the skirt on was different um, what else did I do? Of course, I have a lot less embellishments on mine than she has on hers. Um, I thought that my sister-in-law that I'm gifting this to would prefer it with less embellishments. And, um, you know, I find adding all that embroidery on is a lot of work and it's finicky and that's where I tend to have trouble. So I didn't do that. So her eyes are buttons. Um, and I got her all finished except for I needed to finish sewing her together and putting her eyes on yesterday and realized I didn't have any black buttons that were close to the right size, which didn't occur to me that I didn't have any. So I went through, um, my son had a bag of, um, clothes to be donated. So, um, I went through the bag. My intention was to go through the bag anyways and make sure that the clothes that he was donating were worthwhile donating because sometimes his opinion of what is still wearable and what the rest of the world's opinion is still wearable it can be two different things so but there was um like a plaid jacket in there that was pretty worn like it's his sleeves were like almost worn through so i took the buttons off there and i used it for her eyes so she's all done. I'm very proud of her. She was a lot of work, but I'm really proud of her and happy with how she came out. Um, would I make another one? Maybe. 
I don't know. I'd have to think about it. She was a lot of work. Um, if I did make another one, it definitely would not be with black yarn. Um, black is not my preference. These arms in black were a real struggle for me. Um, but that's just me. These, you know, when I see others working with black yarn, I'm always very, you know, I can't believe they do it. It's for me, it's a struggle. So, um, you know, I don't know if I'll make another one one day. We'll see. I'll keep the pattern, of course, but um, I'm very happy with how she came out. I hope my sister-in-law enjoys her. And yeah, so that is my finished item. So I haven't really, um, I showed a few days ago um, the teddy bear that I finished. Um, and other than that, I haven't really crocheted very much this week. I did work, uh, do a few rounds or rows on the shawl that I'm working on, but it's not really worthwhile showing. Um, I haven't really worked on very much else. This has taken a lot of my time and attention. So um, I'm glad that it's done. It's being gifted tomorrow. So I did finish it on time, which is good. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's what I've been up to lately. So um, if you have any questions or comments or whatever, I'd love to hear from you. Feel free to write to me below. I love reading your comments. I love hearing about the projects that you're working on. And um, if you're new to my channel, please introduce yourself. Say hello. Tell me where you came from and, um, you know, what type of things you like to crochet, that kind of thing. I'd love to hear from you. And I will see you next time on Lori Hooks. Bye, everyone.